I found the farm through looking at things in Barbara's archives, and one of the things I found is the brochure from the first summer school that they had here in 1942. Oh, wow. And I think that it's the only copy in existence. And you stole it? I made a photocopy of it and made a little replica of it because it's so cute. There it is, and here's the farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I want to read some things to you from it before we pass it over. And see, you can see it from the road. All those trees have grown up. That's, this is like from the, the beginning of the driveway looking toward it. And it was called the same design format. Yeah. 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 That's right. what is so incredible. Yeah. Even They're in 1942, yeah. it's so Barbara, it's isn't it? It is. It's, it's, very it's just so professional yeah. and so meticulously put together. Yeah, but also the same, like you said, the same... Uh, this, is, this is from the pond, no, you know, which is down, down there yeah. looking up toward oh. the house. Oh, and also oh. very open. Yeah. And I would guess oh. Alan took those yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I would think. He was I the photographer. Think. Yeah. Wow. There's the house. Oh, wow. Did you see I just sort of mocked it up from photocopies. How yeah. wonderful of you. I know, isn't he? There was a gate right across there. Yeah. A white gate. Yeah. Oh. But it's it's just classic Barbara, you know. Um, the work of Barbara Mettler Studios emphasizes the fundamental importance of rhythmic body movement as a basis for daily life activities and for artistic expression. There's really a strong emphasis on the rhythmic. Show Maki that picture. She just missed that. There's the house. Oh boy. As it <clears throat> when she was here. Right there. Right there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, She's practically looking out the window. <laughs> the farm. <laughs> Rhythm awakens joy. Here's a picture of, I think this was the first summer course in oh, wow. New Hope, oh. Pennsylvania. Wow. With these women playing these cymbals. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks like a man. Is that a man? I don't know. I think it's all in um, looks like Bronze Age. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, is Socialist realism. <laughs> you know, the typeface, it looks the same. It is. It's yeah. the same typeface. She had that all the way through. Isn't that amazing? I thought Boy, that came in too soon. Professional study program. You know, it's very, they were appealing to college students. Right. Fundamentals of motor rhythm, creative motor expression, sound in relation to movement, visual expression in relation to movement, dramatic expression, in performance and production. Wow. What was that? Performance and production. Theory, pedagogy, psychology of body movement. That was Alan's thing. Yeah, really. Yeah, he into the psychology of movement. And we don't have anything written on that from him. I don't think so. Yeah, that thing. Wow. Some of you know that. Yeah, yeah. The Bride of Franklin. Right. The staff, get she a lot of this. It looks like, um, <laughs> it reminds me of the photographs of Mary Ligman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 The staff was Barbara and Alan mm -hmm. and Halperin. Oh, oh, oh that's what they hunting for that. That's what yeah. she said. She, I when she, when Anne that. Halperin is asked, yeah. she says, I was really never a student of Barbara Mettler. I was. It's true. Oh. She worked for Barbara, is what she Wow. <laughs> but and does she disown that she And does it say Anne Halperin? No, she, no, no. I, think I she don't know that she, she, she wasn't was given that question, but Doug asked her. If she were had been a student. If she were, he said student. something like, "You were a student." I understand yeah. you were a student of Barbara Mettler. And she said, she and she said very she pointedly, said, yeah. "No, I worked for I, Barbara Mettler." Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, she was a staff member. It says. Um, Does it say Anne? Or Miss, Anna? Mrs. Halperin, uh, Anne. That was she didn't become Anna until the seventies. Yeah. Mrs. Halperin has studied with Margaret Dobler at the University of Wisconsin, where she received a BS degree. She's yeah. also studied and danced under Doris Humphrey right. at mm -hmm. the Bennington School of Dance, which Barbara did too. Barbara yeah. went up to Bennington right. one mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. She has been active as a dancer and teacher in Boston, Chicago, and Madison, Wisconsin, and during the past season has done experimental work in movement and design with a group of start students from the Harvard School of Design. So yeah. she. She was an established yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 teacher in her own right. Wow. Interesting. And, yeah. um, and also Lenore Virtel 
who was one of Barbara's dancers, oh. who um, had studied with Bird Larson and Hanya Hall. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she assembled a, a very professional she did, indeed. group. Yeah. Now, yeah. what did you say about <coughs> Did you say Anna Hahn? Where? Hanya Hall. Hanya Hall. Oh, Hanya Hall. Uh, Lenore Vertel mm -hmm. had studied with Hanya Holm, oh. who was also, also a student oh, of Mary Vigman's, of course, so there was mm -hmm. that connection. It says here, Mr. Hammer, Alan, studied psychology with Dr. Alfred Adler. Oh, and, uh, I don't know if he did that in Europe or in New York, because Adler did come to New York around that time in the 30s. Alfred Adler. Mm -hmm. and, and, this is interesting, studied with Alfred Adler and rhythmic body movement in the Laban and Bode methods. Do you know mm. anything about that? Mm. Le, Le bon? B -O -D -E. Laban and Bode. Laban and Bode. Bode. I've never Bode. heard of this Bode mm. method. Oh, it's a German. He is Bode. a co-founder of the Barbara Mettler Studios and director of the farm activities. Wow. He was evidently quite a gardener. Oh, yeah. Really? For one thing. But uh, <laughs> they were very much a team here. Yeah. And all the oh, stuff you look at in the archives. Mm. Uh, the students always wrote to Barbara and Alan. Mm. Oh. They didn't write to just Barbara. They wrote to Barbara and Alan. Mm. They were really a tight team. Mm. <laughs> location. I have to read you this little paragraph about the location. Mettler Farm is situated on the southern slopes of Mount Hersey. That's where we are right here, I guess. In the Lakes region of New Hampshire, five miles from the town of Franklin. The farm property covers a large acreage of rolling meadows and woods with extensive views across the valley of the Pemajawasset River mm -hmm. to Mount Kearsarge and Ragged Mountain. When I asked KT and Bill when I came, can you see those anymore? They said, oh no, you couldn't begin to see those. Mm -hmm. Not that tells you how much it's grown up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they used to yeah. dance, especially on this hill up here where Six we're going to go, mm -hmm. that was completely cleared. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, you could see. They'd actually mm -hmm. deliberately let it grow up. Yeah, yeah. And they've also sold a lot of it. So those people have let it grow up too. Yeah. Uh, but I love this sentence. Um, or the two sentences, several brooks cross the par property, one of which has been dammed up to form a natural swimming pool. The restful country environment and invigorating pine-filled mountain air contribute to a summer of health, relaxation, and productivity. <laughs> Not to say stress. <laughs> the school buildings are sturdily constructed and equipped with all modern conveniences. You know, they added this bathroom here. Uh -huh. um, each student has a room of her own in the farmhouse or in nearby cottages. Healthful meals include fresh fruit, vegetables, poultry, and dairy products from the school's own or neighboring farms. And it says students are asked to bring their own war ration books. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. It was yeah, 1942. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And it was five or six weeks. And those weeks. were hard to come by. Yeah. Well, this is this it. is the only yeah, picture of the barn. This is <coughs> this is painting the cupola of the barn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. one, of their, one of their dance company members up on a mm -hmm. sling. Mm -hmm. Right up there. Nice mm Debbie. -hmm. The farm work, you know, you expect to do farm work while you were here. <laughs> consists of gardening, crop cultivation, harvesting, and haying. General activities include swimming in the school's own swimming pool, sunbathing, group hiking, and evenings of discussion, group dancing, and singing. And that included folk dancing. Really? They encouraged the yeah, various yeah. students to share whatever folk dances yeah. they did, <coughs> which is so much in contrast to Barbara's later adamant well, refusal. I took to Barbara have. folk dancing once. You while, did? Well, we when she was living in Boston. Wow. <laughs> what did she say? She. She said, I really love this. She says, if I had time for anything besides my own work, I would do this. Wow. Mm. Wow, I'm so glad to hear mm. that. And yeah. During the company season, she taught, she took several days where she taught us Coco, Lendler, and Waltz. Right. Mm. Mm. She I, did that uh, sometimes yeah. in the summer courses. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah. the Waltz. Waltz and what else? Lendler. What's Lendler? It's an Austrian, it's a German dance. Austrian mm -hmm. dance. Mm -hmm. If you ever saw the sound it's of clumpy. music, mm -hmm. it's yeah. clumpy. Mm -hmm. The scene where they're, they're having the party and she's still dressed in the dirndl or whatever, and he comes out on the terrace and they dance uh -huh. the Lendler. Mm -hmm. uh, and what, what? The sound of sound music. music. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. If you go to Stowe, Vermont, 
you weren't a venture, I will show you how to do it. <laughs> if you go to Cambridge, the Folk Arts Center will show you how to do it. <laughs> when I talked to Cora this summer, um, she said that Alan was a great waltzer. She said Alan? Was, mm -hmm. Barbara's yeah. husband was a very suave and smooth mm -hmm. dancer and that he loved waltz and Barbara loved waltzing. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, pass it around. Mm -hmm. and then, Did he die of a heart attack? No. No. He, well, I don't know. It was cancer. It, it was cancer. It was, sure. it was cancer. It was probably cancer. And, and uh, he had a date with a surgeon to go to a hospital in Boston and uh, for, surgery. for surgery and uh, he walked in under his own steam and feeling great wow. and he ne and, and I think he died in the surgery mm. Mm. but he'd been ill for quite some he'd been ill too. yeah he had been ill but mm. he wasn't you know something it's, went wrong with yeah the surgery. something went wrong mm. Mm. Where did you get that little? It was quite young. It's uh, it? the, the, the brochure for their first summer course here at the farm. It was in the archives. It's a copy as well. And, did, and Susan let you copy it there, right? Yes, you can copy it. Yeah. Photocopy anything you want there. And these are all from uh, photocopies that I took from your book, This is Creative Dance, mm -hmm. Barbara's mm -hmm. photo book. And all of these classic photos that we know were taken here at this farm. Ooh. Pass all of those around. And here's a great frame. Rhythm awakens joy as a source of aesthetic pleasure and an element of art for which all human beings, regardless of distinctions in behavior, have an inherent perception. How dramatic is that? It alleviates work. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> it alleviates work. Oh, there's a thing work. about a work song in there, too. This is very... Rhythm, rhythm alleviates This is very work? Alan. Is that the right word? It must mean it makes work easier. As a creative force which good. penetrates all activities of life, it can be usefully employed in the present war emergency. Oh, God. The summer course provides opportunity for voluntary participation in general farm work. Thus, students and teachers alike can help further the war effort and, at the same time, experience the fascination oh. which lies in the rhythm of a farm tool and the power of a song that sways a work group in unison. Wow. <laughs> Is that communist or what? Really. <laughs> Workers of the world. Indeed. It alleviates work. That isn't just right. It's not the no. uh, no. It alleviates this is it alleviates the stress of work. Or the drudgery. It the drudgery of work. Yeah. Except they don't say that, they just say it. Yeah, I know, yeah. that's wrong. I think they left the word out. It's wrong. Maybe it levitates work. Yeah. Elevates. <laughs> or, <laughs> this is Cora. This is it beautiful. This is Cora? Oh, Is that the one she has in her apartment? She has those. Is yeah, that the photo? Remember, she yeah, had that shape. I wonder to what extent photo. Anne Halpern had any say in how this description of the dance courses was written. Because it reads a little more like something I would see in a course catalog at the University of Wisconsin. Uh, Maybe. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Yeah. No, the, the next one. Oh, the next I'm one. not sure. We've, we've oh, known the name. Oh, you really the one with the shaker here. Yeah. This shows how far you could see. Mm. Well, up on the top um, of this hill, you can see way out to the west. These big sugar maples must have been. Yeah. That's Cora here? Yeah. This is Cora. This is Cora. Oh, that one. How did I miss that? That leaping one is Cora. Almost maybe it came behind you. Yeah, because she got one. I was waiting way. for it, Audrey. You're in trouble, aren't you? I think so. We'll get it back to you. She'll forgive us. This one is Cora. Somewhere, are these dancers notated? <laughs> I tried to get Cora to um, identify some of these people, and she was able to identify a lot of them, but not, not all of them. No, I really should make an effort to find Echo's Janet Faxon, Sandra Faxon. No, no, just Sandra Faxon. Mm -hmm. This drawer in there? This, no, not that. Yeah, this one was a set dance called The Women's Dance, where they're wearing these long skirts. 
there are three of them. They look very Doris Humphrey, actually. Rob, is this Cora? That's Cora. That's interesting. I forgot she studied with Louis Horse. Is this yeah, Cora Louis Horse really encouraged Barbara. Rob, is this Cora? Yes, these are all in the archives. Yeah. No, in Hampshire College. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Rob, do we know who the guys are? This big hunky guy was a football player named Tom, and Cora said that her, her job was to go around to different colleges and round up lightly. Here again, due to warm wartime conditions, only a limited number of students who have here. So thank you. These are interesting dresses. Yes, yes. Well they had to wear suede sandals. Yeah, it says bring suede symbols. Maybe order two. But you know, when I showed Cora that one with her leaping with the shakers, the first thing she said was, oh, the stubble. She said our feet oh. became like leather. Oh. Because they danced barefoot on these yeah. mown fields. You know, she said, we used to walk across the hot pavement on bare feet. Oh. I thought maybe I'd just read a little bit from uh, Dance as an Element of Life about coming up here. She said, after the summer of outdoor dancing, that was the first summer course in New Hope, Pennsylvania, I knew that my studio needed to be in the country. My husband set out in search of a farm which we could afford and found one in the foothills of the White Mountains of New Hampshire. This was to be my studio home for the next 13 years. She didn't really mean right here, though, she mm -hmm. meant mm -hmm. With a group of three dancers and a musician who had been dancing and making music with us for several years, we moved to New Hampshire, where we took possession of an old farmhouse, a huge old barn, and 80 acres of fields and forest. Mm -hmm. Throughout the fall and winter, with the help of a few friends from New York and a local plumber and electrician, we worked as carpenters, painters, and masons, mm -hmm. turning the old barn into a dance studio and the house into living quarters for students. Mm -hmm. We plan to open our summer school of dance the following year. Sounds a little like Jacob's Pillow. It's a lot like Jacob's Pillow. Yes. Having, I, I always wonder if she knew about Jacob. She must have. Oh, known. I still know. Mm -hmm. I still. Having begun the remodeling in August, by Christmas we had heat, running water, and a maple floor. Oh, that's mm. in the barn. Ready for dancing which we used with the glorious feeling of being fully repaid for all the hard non-dance work we had done. We continued to explore new directions in dance as we had been doing in the city, and we began to work on materials and methods for teaching dance creatively. And then, a calamity. In April, the barn containing all our instruments burned to the ground. Did it ever, was it ever determined what the cause was? The we managed to save the house and the automobile. No explanation was ever found for the cause of the fire. It was nothing to do but send the group back to New York. My husband and I remained on the farm. And, you know, she said yeah. that Alan was just She certainly destroyed. was far away from her neighbors, so they couldn't have been anybody who objected to what she was doing, because they... I mean, she, she had 80 acres, it said? Well, what they discovered uh, when they had very little insurance on it. They'd inherited the insurance uh, from the previous owners. It was very, very small. But when the insurance inspector came around and mm -hmm. talked to the neighbors, what they told him was that they thought that Barbara and her husband were sure. Nazi sympathizers and spies mm -hmm. because Alan had rigged up yeah. uh, a radio wire up yeah. to the cupola of the oh, barn. Sure. Oh, and I remember Barbara telling us they used to hang a lamp up in the cupola sometimes just for fun. Big mistake. That became a signal. Yeah. Right. Well, and she yeah. said that she, she, they made the mistake of not talking to the neighbors. They were so focused yeah. on redoing so, the barn. Yeah. And, the, and they you know. didn't, you know, they didn't socialize with them and get to know them. Mm -hmm. Which they did, I think, when they moved to the next place. Yeah, and even mm -hmm. here, yeah. they eventually became much more accepted. Yeah. In fact, she says somewhere in here, um,
Oh, I can't find it right now. But they, you know, they became much more accepted by the community eventually. But right. it was really heartbreaking to Alan in particular to have that that kind of um, mm. prejudice leveled at them. Mm. But they somehow rallied, you know, Barbara, persevering. You know, if they did all, a lot of that work themselves, they may not have done electrical work right or mm. something. Well, been. it said they had an electrician. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But she said at one I remember either reading or hearing her say that they went in to the hardware stores and bought all kinds of funny little things to use for instruments. Oh, right. <laughs> and, you know, and, and left the hardware store with the person thinking, well, what are they going to do with those? Um, um, well, mm. you know, TK said even now, you know, the neighbors pretend they don't want anything to do with you, but... They're snoopy. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Scrutinize your behavior. And you know, when Barbara uh, moved to Tucson, she had really learned her lesson. Those free for alls right. that she'd have yeah. every year, yeah. those mm -hmm. were very much a, yeah. a result of this experience here. She that's always a free -for -all. wanted. She would invite the community to come and dance for Yeah, see, that's what Noise does. Down, not dance camp, you yeah. know, because they are running around in tunics and, you know, today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so Chatter they do, tunics. they rent it to the rec department <laughs> and they do all kinds of things with the fire. They have the fireman's beach and they're, mm -hmm. they're really connected because yeah. um, maybe they learned that early on too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Barbara said, my 13 years in New Hampshire were years of discovery. It seems to me that much of what I have learned about dance has come to me as a result of being deprived of something I thought I could not do without. Mm -hmm. Our carriage barn, which they rented across the, the road, just this little space, was much too small for free movement, so most of our dancing had to be outdoors. We learned to dance in the fields, up and down the hills and among the trees, as we never would have done if our big barn studio had not burned down. Mm -hmm. We learned to use sounds of voice, hands, and feet, and ordinary objects because we had lost all our instruments in the fire. Mm. New York dancers were saying that dancers should not dance outdoors because they should not have the sun on their heads. <laughs> I could not have cared less. <laughs> Away from Broadway, close to nature, I was experiencing a new dimension of freedom. 